guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys, we're back at the table. Um, we haven't been here for a few days so I thought we'd bring it all back and we'll do some old school. So uh, today's not bushcraft or anything like that, it's all to do with prepping and uh, prepping in SHTF. Um, back to basics really guys, uh, that's why I've named it 101. Um, and this is lighting and different types of lighting uh, in SHTF or grid down situation. Um, so if the shit hits a fan, all the power goes out. What sort of lighting um, do you have at your disposal? Uh, disposal, and what can you use, and um, what could you buy now, and obviously uh, keep and um, and prep ready for uh, a bad situation like that, grid down, um, uh, natural disaster, SHTF, what anything that happens where it um, stops electricity from working, so you can't use your lights. So apart from a generator and then running your own electricity, let's talk about some new things. So the first big one and cool one is this. This is my uh, oil lantern. Um, it is, I think it's Scandinavian this one. Uh, I bought it at a, at a car boot sale, uh, which to American people, that is called a flea market. It's Scandinavian, it's a standard oil lantern. Um, I need to change the wicks on it, but I bought it this for four or five pounds. Four pounds I bought this for. Mrs. Bristol Pepper just uh, helped me out there. Yeah, it's four pounds we bought it for. So it's a real bargain uh, for four pounds. Um, and I like oil lantern. Um, yeah, so, the, and these will last for ages. Obviously, all you've got to do is top it up with uh, oil. They do burn for a long, long while. Um, but yeah, the only thing then you'd have to prep is oil and then obviously wicks because um, they do burn out and become unusable at a certain point. That's one good thing. Um, they're pretty good. Obviously, it's quite heavy. You couldn't carry this right. You could carry it around your house, but. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to be, it's going to be more of a stationary item. You keep it sat down on a side and then twist it, light the area up and then uh, use it as more of like a, a room lighting thing more than a mobile uh, lighting option. But they're pretty good. Um, not everybody should get one of these, a really good, nice bit of kit. Um, the next one we'll talk about is candles. So we've got uh, a few different candles here. We've got a big, big, big candle here. Um, non scented I believe this, believe this one is but it's got a really big burn time of 95 hours and you guys can see that 95 hours this has got so this is a really, really big nice candle um, obviously you can buy them bigger than this but um, I buy these normally as a pair for a few uh, a few pounds really cheap um, inexpensive um, and then so if, you, and if you can't buy them or you can't find them you just steal your missus candles when she's redecorating she doesn't want them more. So at one time we had a living room, or it's not even came from the bedroom, but we had a purple, purple theme in one of the bedrooms or living room. I can't remember which, um, and it's no longer what these because they're purple and they didn't go with the theme of the bedroom. You lads don't know what I'm on about. So and I just apprehended these and because she was going to chuck them out, I just took them. Obviously, it's not burnt at all because women they buy candles, they daren't burn them. That's not the idea. Do you know what I mean? They buy candles, they never burn them. And I tell you, if you set your missus candle alight, she will lose her shit. If you burn one of her decoration candles, that's it. You'll be sleeping on the sofa for weeks. So anyway, nick her candles when she's redecorating. Um, and obviously then it's free. I'm not sure of the burn time of this. Same sort of thickness, I'd guess approximately 30 hour burn time, maybe. 25, something like that. But yeah, that's, uh, the candles are always a reliable option. Um, they're just great, obviously bang on the side, you can put it loads for your house, really cheap, and then in a grid down situation, I've got to do a light on man, you're, you've got a nice bit of light in. They give off a good amount of light, um, not a crazy amount, but enough that you can see the room you're in, and it'll do the job, you know? And then also guys, we've got these 100 tea lights I bought for two pounds. Two pounds, and there's loads in here. So you can um, prep loads of these, and I carry hundreds upon hundreds of tea lights. Not all of the same brand, not all bought from the same place. Just I'll be walking around shopping with the missus and I'll see some that are on offer or on special and I'll buy them. Um, so now I have hundreds. Um, I bought I like six, seven hundred for like five pound ones. Uh, that was an amazing deal. Um, there are so many in there. It's a huge box. I bought from a hardware store, but you can buy them anywhere. Like stores where you go there and it's for women's decorations and shit and scatter cushions and 
fucking shit they put in bowls and then candles are not either light. Them sort of places, you get loads of candles there. Uh, your local supermarket, loads of places sell them. But they are really good prep um, and really inexpensive. And you can also get the tea light holders as well. The things that kind of, they sit in and then obviously it'll light up so they're pretty. So your missus might like that. Um, I don't have any of those. My missus does have multiple of the little surrounds of granny tea lights. Anyway, that's candles. Really good option, I think. Um, everybody should get a candle, some candles, and invest in them, guys, because nothing can go wrong with this. Nothing can break. And like this, is this has metal parts, so a part could fall off, or I don't know, the glass could break, or the swing could fall apart, uh, or rust. But this, nothing goes wrong. Nothing goes wrong. It's, it's just a candle with wax with a wick in it, and you set it alight. Nothing can go wrong. So this is a really good option. Um, and then the last one we come to, guys, really obvious one, is torches. Um, and a little bit about torches, so you can get them obviously in loads from styles, sizes. This is like your more classic, big, heavy-duty metal one. So it's an aluminium frame. Um, it's quite a nice little torch, really. Um, it's not a mag light. Um, this is looks similar to a mag light, but it's not. It's a Rons Ronson, which is like a hardware make. But it's pretty bright, does the job, takes the big double D batteries. I'll show you what they look like. That's a nice one. Um, with this one, I like this one because you know it's not going to break. It's not going to, if you dropped it, it's not going to crack and fall apart. It's a good heavy duty torch. Um, I could use it as a baton in a, in a pinch situation. I could use it as a baton, give somebody a real nasty headache with, with, with this. And with the batteries, it's quite weighty with the batteries. So this is the batteries it takes, the big double D's, not talking about breasts, we're talking about batteries. Um, yeah, it takes, it takes, but I think they're called double D's, or D's, I think they're called that. Yeah, some shit like that, a D battery, double D battery, the big bastards, that's what it takes. And then also we've got this one here, which is like the angled torch, I think it's called the 90 degree torch, or angled torch. Um... You see these, a lot of people use this, the military have used these for years, um, firemen also use similar angled torches, um, this one's great, um, I'm not sure if I've done a review on this or not, but really inexpensive, it's a plastic frame with a little nice metal clip on the back, it takes the big double D batteries, um, then obviously you put the batteries in the bottom, there you go, and then what else have we got? Got a nice clip on here at the bottom, so we can... It does have a clip on the bottom, but I have such big hands and my fingers are like stumps, I can't get it out, so if the camera can see it. Yeah, we've just got a clip in there so that does pop out and you can hang it then from a tent or from your living room in SHTF and obviously light the room up. Um, so you can take this off as well, take the lens out and all that good shit and dismantle it. Um, and also change the lenses as well. Because uh, you can change the lenses on these. Put that together, and then take this off, and then you take this off. Look, and then you can put different coloured lenses in this. Um, I did used to remember where the lenses were. Now I can't remember. Right, there is lenses for this somewhere. Uh, little coloured lenses. God, that's going to annoy me where they are. But yeah, somewhere on this torch, little coloured lenses, you can put in like red, yellow, blue, tinted lenses. And that, um, you can use different coloured lenses for different situations. Um, I won't go for all that, but yeah, really cool, nice bit of kit. Um, and it's cool because you can put it on your pack or on your assault vest. And obviously, you don't have to hold it like this, or like this. You, it just attaches to you, uh, and it'll light up in front of you. Really cool, nice bit of kit. Um, not amazingly bright, but do the job. Then we've got something like this, a small handheld LED torch. This is made by the RAC, uh, which is a car company in England. Uh, they like a, they're like a, what's the word, like a uh, breakdown company. So if you break down, they'll come pick you up. This is this company, RAC. Um, and then these torches, LED. Um, this one is going to be, I think, the best one in SHTF compared to any of these. Because these big bastards... They're good, obviously hold a lot of life, but you do, do not find them as much as you find the double A. So this big bastard, compared to this small little chap, this small bad boy is the double A battery. 
you find these everywhere in your TV remote, in your kids' toys. Um, cool, I was going to say something then, but I should not say it because this is a family show. Um, you find it in multiple objects uh, around your house, loads of different stuff got double batteries. So you find them everywhere. That's why it's key. Because if I took this, use this in SHTF, I say batteries running. I could go into so breaking somebody's house, and I'll break in. Uh, go into an empty household uh, in SHTF if it's been um, abandoned. Go in there and take their batteries out their TV remote and bang it in this. And then I've got um, power. This only takes two batteries because it's LEDs. It's really, really bright. Uh, nice, uh, good, and I like, I like uh, come out, comes out of this. For only two double A's, it's really good. And this only cost me, I think, like five pounds. It's a nice aluminium frame on it. But as you can see, guys, there's so many torches for you to choose from and different ways you can power them be it oil, um, be it obviously like flame from like a lighter, or be it battery life. Um, you can also get ones that have rechargeable batteries. They're really posh and high end torches that are rechargeable. Um, these go from torches go from like one pound all the way up to like near a thousand pound for the top end high top spec torches. Um, I don't have any of those. I'm not a torch guy. Um, some people, some of you guys are. Um, yeah. So there's so many different things, but I think just I always want to cover some of the different lighting you can uh, keep objection prep for lighting in an SHTF grid down situation. This thing is so important because lighting, um, especially if you've got kids and a family and stuff, you don't want it to change that radically overnight because your kids can be scared in the dark. And all, I've got girls, so and they just they'll be shitting their pants in the dark. So the missus, so the dog, for fuck's sake, Johnny's you know, a little pussy boy. So. Um, I really want to keep the lighting up, and uh, it gets dark in, in England quick, especially in the winter time. So, you want you want to keep that light up and have a nice bit of light on the night to play Monopoly and card games, because you have nothing else because the power is out. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So it's really important, I think. So you need to go out and get some of these stuff. Get like two of each. Get like a couple of torches that are okay. Get yourself some candles. Then go out and grab yourself an oil lantern or something like that. Um, there's other lanterns that do petrol and diesel uh, around by that. The Coleman's, I think they are. Um, loads of stuff out there, guys. Go out and do your research, but definitely, definitely, definitely get multiple sources of lighting for SHTF situation. So, guys, to wrap this up, because we've been rattling on for a while, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And it's a little bit different from what we're doing lately, but um, yeah, I am a prepper after all. Be before bushcraft, I am a prepper. That's why I'm Bristol Prepper. <laughs> Anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you like this video. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed it. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe down beneath. It helps my channel massively. And especially the missus. She does like it when people subscribe. She asks me every day, How many subscribers you got, Brad? And then I tell her. Um, she does ask me every day. So, guys, to make the missus happy, please press that subscribe button. And also, like me on Facebook. If you want to like me on Facebook, down in the description down beneath. Down there above the crotch box and beneath the video, in between, little description box. And that's got the Facebook um, link on there. Follow that, like me on Facebook. Otherwise, guys, as always, stay prepared. I'll catch you guys another day, another way.